back, man. We back, man. I had to uh, get my guests in, man. You know what I'm saying? One of the, to me, one of my personal favorite DJs, and I don't even go to the club, so I'm being biased because this is my man's type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I see him doing his thing. He's striving in life. He's continuing. Last Saturday, I think he put his elbow on Lights King Keisha's ass, so I wanted to shout him up for that, man. I'm sitting here, motherfucking DJ A1. Is that, is, is, is that it? Is that it? Dom the Marco. Uh, the one and only. My name. That's what I'm talking about. Down so I was on the news, man. So you're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, continue to kind of talk about the news. You just walked in on it, man. So basically, I was talking about Michael K. Williams, aka Omar Little. Okay. You heard about uh, four people got arrested in his death. Yeah, they arrested four people for for uh, they charging them with murder. You know what I'm saying? They saying he, that he he was like I guess the that they sold him the shit that had the fentanyl in it and all mm. that. And I was just thinking back, like, damn, like at what line do we cross to be like? You know what I'm saying? How right. are we going to start doing this? You know what I'm saying? Right. It's kind of like, did they try to kill him? Or like, what if this nigga had a heart condition? What if somebody had some type of different health conditions that they don't know? And it probably was just their time to go. Right. Like, I felt like it's kind of weird about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of, it's real slippery slope. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He said off fitting huh? Yeah. They, they said uh, he bought heroin. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and it was yeah, it was, I know. I, have, I don't know the whole story. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, yeah, damn. they said it was that. Yeah, like like they, they really discharged like four people the other day, and I'm just like, damn. That's so how like, it be. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm just like. But would they charge him if he wasn't a celebrity? Would you think them four people would have got charged? Yeah. It's weird because I've seen other. I've seen ordinary people get charged. It's right. I have, but it's always like the victim of somebody's daughter. That's a fact. You know I, what yeah, I'm saying? I don't know. If they I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But my advice is leave that shit alone. That's what I always say <laughs> leave too. Leave shit alone. What did uh what what did uh what they say? Fucking uh, don't do drugs. Just say no to drugs. <laughs> you better listen to them Reagans, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even though they brought that shit in, you know so what I mean? Shout out to them. You know, <laughs> niggas like ESTGs talking about want to change your life. My best advice is a brick of fentanyl. That's what he says. Yeah. I, I found out something weird about him. I don't know if that shit is true or not. That nigga was really like like that good at football. Yeah. So how, why is you, what's up, bro? Like, he, he, didn't I, make, he didn't make it, so now you like gonna tell all the other niggas to be like you? Yeah. <laughs> That's basic crab mentality, old nigga shit. Be better, man. That's wild, man. But uh, in other days in the news, the Rams won the Super Bowl, man. I just want to shout out the Rams for that, man. Shout out the Rams. Even though I'm a Viking fan, you know what I'm saying? Fans. But we Viking, we Vikings, Viking, we Vikings. Cold just got to let that be known. Cold hard. Cold But uh, shout out to the Rams. It was a good game. I definitely wanted Joe Burrow to win. Yeah. But, you know, it's all good. Shit happens, you know. I like, I like both of them. I, I bet. It was a good game. Yeah, I bet on the Bengals. They saying, uh, Aaron, oh, you did? To win, to lose by a certain amount. No oh, won. did you win? Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. So you did like a little nice little spread then yeah. amount. Yep. I be trying to get into that gambling shit, man. But every time I think about me gambling, nigga, I think of that scene in Like Mike, nigga, when that nigga uh, uh, stole the nigga's <laughs> shoe. <laughs> he stole the nigga's shoe. Oh, God, bro. That shit, <laughs> I would not, I would not recommend gambling. Yeah. That's just, it, it, I don't got it, no problem. Bro. Right. You ain't got no problem. No. You, ain't, you ain't got no Michael Jordan no, problem. No, hell no. All hell right, man. No. That nigga. I was just but talking about Michael Jordan. I can see how ass. niggas get a problem. Especially, like, if you're really rich. Like, they say a lot of people say Jay-Z has a... Uh, that's, like, his one flaw. They say Hove has, like, a gambling problem, which I'd be like, I, I understand. I feel like a lot of niggas with money. Yeah. Money. Everybody got their own little vice anyway. Right. Even, like, broke niggas, rich niggas. Everybody got something that they, that they love to do when they spend a lot of money on it. But uh, speaking of that... Kanye West, cause Jesus Christ, <laughs> woo! That I ain't gonna lie, wild, man. Boy. Yeah, it, he. I kind of understand Kanye. I do too. <laughs> I do too. I don't condone everything he doing. I don't condone everything. But I understand him. <laughs> this shit is funny though. It is. Like the I ain't gonna lie. The shit with Kid Cudi was the shit that kind of threw me off. Where I was like, "What the fuck, Kid Cudi doing?" Yeah, Kid Cudi would not be on this album, bro. He friends, friends with with, with yeah with, with Skeet. Called him a Skeet. Called call him Skeet. Skeet. He said, "You would never meet my kid, Skeet." <laughs> and then even when he posted the messages with Kim, where he's like, "Yo, uh, what, what the fuck did the nigga say?" Where well, he was like, "Okay, I'm sorry. I'm telling people won't harm him, yeah, but Skeet about- is never gonna meet my kids." And I'm just like, "Did you see the picture he uploaded with that?" He's he he did more today. No, I'm talking about with the with the post. He had uh, remember when uh, yeah, he had baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny. I don't know if somebody writing the shit for Kanye or if Kanye is just no. Nah, it might be him because the, be the nigga posted the picture with the uh, with the uh, with the little joint that said I'm not being hacked right now. That shit oh, was the yeah. funniest shit, man. That was definitely him. But like I said, I understand Kanye. Yeah. But yeah, man, let's talk about it, man. 
let's talk about you, man. The DJ life, man, because you you definitely is like one of the like. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so like you definitely like one of like to me, like all these DJs have like you know you see all these Mountain Rushmores of DJs and all this other shit. You're like a guy that's really right now in the league, like you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you doing your thing, like niggas like on some. Oh yeah, Steph Curry, we already seen that nigga. You know what I'm saying? LeBron, right. we seen that nigga. Let's talk about Trey Young. You know what right, I'm saying? Because right, 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 I feel right. like you want some just you know you doing it for the younger generation and like a lo- lot a lot of younger kids they because I know you be in the community and you mm-hmm. know the kids look up to you. Right. You literally are a person that's like showing the kids a different way. A lot of kids don't gotta just be like, yo, I want to do basketball. I want to do, I want to do sports. I want to do. They can look at, I can be a DJ. I can, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's something that we never. A lot of people didn't think of growing up. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So like, how'd you kind of get into DJing and like what kind of made you do it? Because you know, I know you. Cause I, cause when I saw <laughs> so, 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 so you was doing it, I was like, nigga, hell yeah, nigga, let's go. I, um, you know, I've been I've been musically talented my whole life. So if before DJing. I'm playing the drums, drums. I'm playing man. keys. You feel me? God. It was just it just bound to happen. Um, actually, my man's um, shout out Newski, DJ Newski. He used to DJ before me. We used to throw house parties, okay. uh, warehouse parties. But one day he had came to my crib after one of our parties. Mm. It's like four in the morning. Um, I just went to his car, grabbed the shit, and just started just like fucking doing it. it. Yeah, yeah. And this is this this back in the day. So we going on straight computer. All virtual DJ, no no software, no laptop, nothing, nigga. I mean, the wire speakers. The wire speakers. Yeah, like you like, have your trunk. We yeah. going off them, and it just took off from there. What was like your first reaction when you kind of got first got that love from like the crowd? Because I know it had to be a moment. Because like a lot of you know that's why like people gotta show people love if they really think somebody's talented. Don't 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 show a nigga fake love, but like show a nigga real love because when you do it, it brings up a whole different right. thing. So what was like your first real love moment when you were kind of like, damn? These motherfuckers really like what I'm doing. I got I got to keep on doing this. Man. When I was doing the house parties, warehouse parties. I think my last warehouse parties, I think we called it uh No Limits. No Limits. This shit was crazy. It was like 6 700 people there. Mm. But when I'm DJing, I'm I'm not I'm in a zone, but you right. feel me? But we had Dolo hosting. Right. Uh the crowd was going crazy. After I get after the party, I'm looking at all the videos, the snaps, my Instagram's blowing up. My Word. Twitter blowing up. up, going crazy. I mean, <laughs> hey, one got this bitch. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, though, that's real shit. Though that'd be the best feelings. I swear to God. Like yeah. back in the day, when you go out to a party and you like don't even remember the party, but then you come home, you wake up, you like, thanks. Mm, mm, I had a fun night, man. <laughs> got like, hey, hey, we had fun last night. I'm like, yeah, you know, we did have fun last night. You seen who the DJ was? Yeah. <laughs> This nigga probably caused so much, so many practices, man. That night it was wild. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know. About that. <laughs> he caused practices. No, oh no, no. The music, the music, oh. the music, the music. I hope not. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Now that's where everybody was gonna think. Y'all, I wasn't even thinking about that. That's wild. <laughs> so yeah, man. So like, uh, where'd you like? What was like your first club that you ever DJ at? Monarch. No, I'm Mon- still at Monarch. I love. That's Monarch. like that's home. That's home yeah. for yeah. That's it. Yeah, Monarch man. really. Shout out to DJ Events, Polo Scott. Shout uh, out to Vince. And Q, you feel me? But Advance, Shout out to Q, yeah. Advance was the first person to ever give me a chance in the club. Like, it was a random night. I was out there. I didn't really go to the club before I started DJing, but I had to. Oh, you random, didn't? No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Why, why not, bro? I ain't fuck with it. That's real. I ain't that's, fuck with that's it. That's real. Uh, it makes sense, though. Yeah, but like on a random night, I was just, just like a Thursday night, I think, or maybe a Friday or Saturday. I don't know. But Advance was in there, and he, after the club, he asked me, like, you know, you still DJing? I'm like, yeah. Then he asked me if I wanted to uh, DJ with them on Thursday nights. And this was like this was like 2016, 2017. 26. Damn, bro, you 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 yeah. you been putting some motherfuckers. Yeah, niggas work. don't know. Yeah. I'm, been, I'm an OG. Dog. That's why I, know, that's why I said that shit. Yeah. That's why like even when like, I see like people discussing these, you know, I you know we see it sometimes. Like Minnesota small, we see we see what we see the topics. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I always be like, yo, why ain't they mentioning so and so? And like it, it was like for me, it was like that with a lot of different categories with different people. I'm like. All right, niggas only just talking about their friends. Right, and I'm going to say this. Yeah. A lot of shit be politics in the the nightlife. Now, I'm not saying none of those DJs don't deserve to be on there because they, you feel me, they like that. Right. But to me, it's like there's no way you can't have certain people in that Uh, conversation. Let the the young niggas shine. (laughs) You know why I start? 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. And a lot of people go. The same people go to the same club. Mm -hmm. They go into a gold room. Gold they go room. Into, my, uh, are, are, yeah. It, but monarch, you know, monarch. It, it, it used to be. Crazy. It used to be dead. Yeah, I remember. But you know, there's a lot of shit that happened that maybe gonna talk about. It, that, was, a, it was. It was a crazy summer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, and kind of kind of fucked us up a little bit. But right now, last Saturday, last Friday, the Friday before that, bust. You feel me? It's 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 back, but um. A lot of people go to the same, you know, to the same club and see the same DJ or the same host, the same promoter, the same whatever. And so when they vote, they going off what they know. What they know. And right. I'm not, I'm not mad about it because a lot of people may not come to Monarch and see me. Right. You know, I mean, I DJ at Gold Room. I DJ at other clubs. Union, like I'm at Gold Room on Friday. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all pull up. <laughs> uh, and but I don't, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I know though. You put me up against anybody. I'm a yeah, um, that's that's how I feel. They I should care do that. They should do like a DJ a DJ battles, like on like on uh, like on Juice, nigga. Y'all yeah, niggas remember on Juice, nigga. It depends, <laughs> it depends on uh, what you're trying to do though, because there's niggas who 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 are competition DJs, mm -hmm. and there's some niggas who's club DJs. I don't what call myself a competition DJ. Okay, you're a club DJ. I'm a club DJ. So what's a competition DJ? Them niggas just try to be all the tricks. Oh, yeah, I can do some juice. of that. That's it. That's all on Juice. Yeah, then. Okay, yeah, I can not do that, some of that, that shit. I can do some of that shit, but that's not. You right. feel me? The club don't care about that shit. Nah, at all. That shit sound. It, it, don't, it don't sound good. It don't. I mean, if you do it right, if you do it right, if you do it right, it's gonna this sound. Nigga, good. This nigga, he's gonna be on some GQ right, shit. Right. <laughs> you Pull do out it right, the glove. I mean, I still scratch and shit, but you know, I just don't do the most. Now that's real though, man. Because a lot of people they didn't even like me. Like I didn't really look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Though, so it's, it's education at that point. Right. Where it's like a lot of people don't know that. They don't. Yeah, so uh, who are your favorite producers, top five all time? DJ Mustard. Mm. Fire. DJ Khaled. If you want to count. He? He's I, a producer. He's, a, he? he's okay. a producer. He's okay. a producer. Because I, I looked into some of his shit. I'm like, he, I know he gets a lot of. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like he's like an influencer producer. But it's like, because I know I'd be looking. Because I know all producers have other help with other producers right. on beats. I looked that shit up mm -hmm. already. So it's like, I looked that shit up and I'm like. He has a lot of help, but it's I like guess Diddy. he is. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's DJ that's Mustard fair. doing the same shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's what the wave I'm trying. I got a mixtape coming called Evil Evil Twin. Do it, do it. Well, who's gonna be on that? Can't tell you that. Nah, but it's, no it's, it's artists no from more. Minneapolis, artists from St. Paul. Oh, okay. That's what we need. That's what we need. Yep, that's artists from Minneapolis, need. artists from St. Paul. It's coming though. I know these niggas, right? I know some of these niggas. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so definitely no St. Paul niggas. Oh yeah, I know the St. Paul. Niggas. Okay, you putting the St. Paul niggas on? That was the first people. Gotta do that. Gotta do that, man. That's crazy, man. But yeah, you said damn. Okay, you said you said mustard, Khaled. Um, Metro. Mm -hmm. I, it, uh, it could be a lot of a lot of new new ones. Cause I, honestly, if you want to be, I feel like the new producers are way better than the old producers. Mm -hmm. In certain ways, bro. It's just in like, certain ways, yeah. But if you a think lot about of them it, inspired from them, they though. do. That yeah, doesn't mean right. that they can't. Oh shit, my bad. They, they can't don't mean surpass that they the master. Yeah, you, you know, so no doubt, like, no doubt. It's like. Cause at a point Drake's gonna pass Wayne. We already did, right? Not in rapping though, but not in rapping. No, not bars. Yeah, not bars, as, but in like, as an but as an artist, we you know what Bird I'm saying. Birdman, fuck that shit up. You can blame right. Birdman for that, right? <laughs> Birdman, stop that train, like nigga. What? But uh, <laughs> Thanos. Yeah, Metro, real shit. Metro, and I'm gonna go uh, with my man's Dave from St. Paul. Shout out to Dave, man. Yeah. Shout out to Dave, man. That's like it. Like that. That that damn man. No Dre. I fuck with Dre, but that that's no, just not my real? style. That's real. That's, that's real. That's just not my style. Yeah, you know. Western East. Mm. Like South. South. I gotta go to South. south. That's Ooh, an option. Mm. I like the South. Yeah. Metro. You yeah, hear yeah, me? Yeah, uh, ain't like where's uh where's Lex TM from? Lex Luger. Yeah, where's he from? Uh, he's from yeah, East. I think he's from, like, he's from Philly or something like that. Yeah. You right. He was fucking with Meek early on. You yeah. right. You right. I, I literally yeah, forgot me, all about so, that. Oh, oh hold on, my bad. Mr. Philadelphia joint. I'm gonna add Dave from St. Paul in there as an honorable mention, but I gotta yeah. go Zaytoven. Zaytoven is my number one. For it's sure. fucked up, man. Like the the way you just broke down all them new niggas. I literally, it's I can't like he shouldn't be on there. Like there's them niggas got heat. Them niggas got heat. What's the name? Got fucking heat. I'm surprised you didn't say Hit Boy. Yeah, <laughs> Hit Maker. <laughs> hit Maker too, but it's like still though, but. This is my thing. Yeah, this hit, is yeah, hit boy and hit, hit maker. Both the, the reason why I say the producers are better now is because back then you was paying attention more to the lyrics. Now all you got to hear is. Boom. 
that ma- and you it, feel me? It kind of fucked. The, it's, it's a gift and a curse. It is. It is. Because I'm not like, a rapper, so yeah, I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Because <laughs> I'll be hearing some of these beats. I'll be like, oh my god. Shit go crazy. I'll be like, this beat so hard. It is. But what what old artist you think can handle a beat like that? Oh, okay. Jadakiss. Okay, you talking about <laughs> top tier niggas. I'm talking uh, about like. I mean, I, I, you name it, Hall of Fame niggas. I'm talking about talk, as a whole. We we retire our goats. Yeah. We say you can't be a certain age and rap. That's true. So it's like we fuck ourselves over in that regard. That's why I hate doing. That's why I'll be like, how the fuck are these old ass Rolling Stones? I mean, we get it. I get it. I get it. The demographic. I get it. Right. But it's like, bro, we still can support niggas. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. But yeah, I hear you though. Yeah. What you about to say? No, nothing. Okay. Yeah, man. So how you feel about the new Bel Air TV show, man? I ain't watched it. Yet. <laughs> I ain't watched it. Yet. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a I'm a real fan of Fresh Prince, the original. We all are. Yeah. Like, uh, it's like that's like you 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 fucking with like you some real my, shit, boy. <laughs> For bro. real. Like, but Look, I gave in, bro. How is it? I I heard it was all right. Besides that shit I posted I yesterday. Yeah, watch my story. That shit is wild, bro. Oh and like you said, it was. It was like the train. I don't know who, who the cameraman, what he was doing. Right side of the rim and ended on the uh, left doing a windmill dunk. Like, like, he know. Look, 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 look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that nigga got bad. Oh, yeah, God. He talking about nigga. That should have been like, me. That's not how you do it, actually. <laughs> how I did it was <laughs> both my legs twice, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> ass. But no, no. It's like that one show, uh, that football. All American. I remember you said oh. that shit. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, All American was. Yeah, I get it, though. I didn't realize it was a. It was a. Oh, was it a, the WC was in one of them shows. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. That sounds like, oh, it makes sense now. But no, oh, man, for the Fresh Prince? Nah, hell no. Oh, that's on All Peacock, American? All American. Okay. But no, I watched the motherfucking uh, the Fresh Prince shit yesterday, and I ca- I gotta say, only reason I really watched it, shout out to Easy the Block Captain. They got a battle rapper like the ba- the main bad guy. Mm. So it's like okay. that shit's love, you know what I'm saying? Right, I support, right, right, I support right, right. what them niggas are doing. Them niggas, that nigga was in jail for like eight years, you know what I'm saying? He just got out. And he got that role. Yeah, oh, he's been he was killing niggas in battle rap though. Oh. They he wouldn't have got that if he was just. Right. Like, he didn't have a hell of a year. Like, the nigga went, like, he had a hell of a year last year. So, I shout out to him getting that. But I watched it, bro, and I'm like, this shit's, this shit's. It's I don't right. like the nigga that played Carlton. And they made, <laughs> and they made Carlton a crackhead. <laughs> Just watch it. You'll see what I'm saying. He a pill head, ain't he? Remember he took them pills? <laughs> hey, hey, that's why I laughed with it. But I was like, okay, I get it. He's popping Zans. But then, like, bro. The nigga like got kicked out of lacrosse practice, and then he's in the locker room like sniffing. I'm like, bro, this nigga's supposed to be hot. That's kind of over the top. It is rebooted now. Nowadays, you know, when we was in high school, niggas that's was wild, saying. nigga. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, don't fuck with shit like that. I'm like, we get it. That nigga was on speed, Millie rocking and shit. Have him doing that. <laughs> Remember when he was on speed? Oh, God. That nigga was busting, boy. bro. That nigga was in that. Thing. <laughs> I'm gonna post a clip on that. That nigga Ew, was trying bro. to get signed, but no. Pass it up on that, man. We got to talk about it. Oh, that's my favorite part of the show. And I haven't done this in a while, man. It's like I forgot, man. It's called Played Yourself, man. <sighs> Take a drink. <laughs> Shame on you, niggas. <laughs> I don't even know who this one is. <sighs> Played Yourself, but today. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. And, uh,. All you straight men that's telling other straight men happy Valentine's Day, what the fuck is y'all doing? That's not like a universal thing like Christmas. That's not like a happy birthday. That's not like a happy anniversary. Dudes, do, these dudes was on social media telling other men happy Valentine's Day. One said happy Valentine's Day King. Oh no. It threw me off, bro. And listen, if you are a, a, a gay male and you have a partner and that's your friend and that's your, you know, your lover, do your thing but to me if you're a straight man i don't think you should be using that yeah that's no. just me this ain't christmas yeah it's not christmas nah. like, merry christmas <laughs> hey, Damn, happy anniversary this nigga said happy valentine's day king um, how do you say that with a straight face a lot of niggas <laughs> do shit for social media too bro this shit crazy like what? yeah i hate yeah, social media be pissing me off sometimes i'll be I telling I got, I got homies i got homies i love dearly and i tell these niggas like why the fuck do you post everything you do <laughs> for real yeah like y'all niggas that like, like nobody cares for real like don't nobody cares like that should be so annoying to me i'll be like yo you know what nigga you want niggas to care so much now nah, i do care and i don't like it <laughs> 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 talking about that you know that filter what do you say changes, yeah uh, like, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like, oh i look like this person whatever so you you actually upload that picture beforehand. Nigga, I tried that too. I, I tried. The bitch was yeah. black and white. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but you gotta like, upload the man, picture. 
Fuck all y'all niggas, man. <laughs> Everybody fake. You uploading this shit and then thinking, uh, uh, uh. No, y'all I thought it was like that too. You ain't seen that? Yeah, I know what y'all talking about. But you gotta so, upload that picture that, that you look like. Yo. So you're posting it yourself. Yeah, I thought I tried I thought, it. I thought the internet was just so roasting did I. Until I, I, I tried it. it was black and I said, white, what the yo. fuck is this? Yo, that's mad corny. I, I what the fuck? Hey, I saw like four of you niggas trying to say yo, like Bryson Tiller. Y'all gotta fucking relax. Oh. <laughs> that's the worst. Yo, yo, why y'all here trying to look like Bryson Tiller, man? Hey, shout out to Bryson Tiller, man. I remember uh, a couple years ago, I was like. I saw this nigga at the state fair like two years in a row, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then now I know, I know. And then, like, you know, recently, you know, I found out I acquired some information over time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, yup. He planted a seed. I, I, don't, I still don't know who this bitch yeah, is, though. Girl. I know she is. Yeah, uh, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga knows. She's still here. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Hell no. How you feel about uh, social media impact right now in general? I know you're just saying, like, you know, people do a lot of shit for the internet. How you feel about the impact of it? Because I feel like... It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. It, 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 you got people who use it for the right reason. You got people who use it. That's just with anything. That's a fact. You feel me? It, and that's just what you got to... Anything you do, you feel me? You got people doing it for the right reason, the wrong reason. But I feel like the wrong reasons outweigh the right reasons. Drama because always does. Drama bro. and this shit, people dying from social media. You feel me? Like that's why I don't like to play them type of games when it either. comes to that. Like I'd rather bring, you know what I mean, bring my uplifting spirit, laugh, roast, do right. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Make comical shit. But it's like And most people that really are even used to violence don't want to even go take that route. Right. It's really the people that just like to see other people get fucked up right. that hasn't been in no drama that likes talking about drama. That's why I'd be like, Y'all phony, man. Right. Y'all just stop. And it's like, crazy because I ain't gonna, I like seeing it. I ain't gonna lie. I love seeing no, it. No, as humans, it right. entertains us. Why do you think we like watching boxing? Right, we watch right. fucking. Fo- we like watching conflicting shit. I don't know. It's weird with us, bro. We like that's why I like niggas watch horror movies. Niggas like drama. Like, yeah. bro, it's wild. Bro. It is. It's, it's like I don't know what it is about the drama. It's like something in our brains that lets off a chemical, Facts. and it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta be balanced with that shit you though, because you, you get caught up in that shit, man. You are gonna turn into. Academic or some shit. <laughs> so, little homie. Fuck you, want? Shit, probably probably got some egg rolls or something. I'm racist. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that. Cancel out. this. <laughs> oh, he didn't. No, he didn't. Like Swear to God. No, he just heard it. He just no, nah, he just <laughs> no, nah, he no, nah, he just heard us talking shit. Oh. <laughs> he probably he probably didn't hear hear that. <laughs> I hope he didn't. I'm like, damn, my voice got deeper over time, <laughs> nigga. You uh, you a fan of Marvel? Uh, and how about DC? Yeah, but to be honest, I there's only the main supers I can tell you, which is part that's of real. Marvel. I can't tell you everybody. That's real. That's real. But I know who they is. Yeah, that's real. That's real. I be asking motherfuckers that because uh, niggas be trying to shit on motherfucking Marvel, man. I, Marvel I mean, like not that. Marvel, DC, and I be like, oh yeah, DC is cold. Like, it is. If you watch, like, go to HBO Max and like even like the little animated joints, bro, they rated R. Mm-hmm. Them shit is lit. <laughs> so I'll let y'all know. It remind me of uh, Invincible. It remind me of that show, like that shit, like that type of gritty DC shit. DC, lock, yeah. Shit, Marvel even trying to dip their finger back in there. They yeah. bring it back to Marvel. Marvel start doing, they start putting That's, real people. Like, what if and animation. they're bringing back X Men, bro, from ninety from ninety seven? Oh, you, you saw X Men guy, uh, Disney just picked him up. Yeah, yep. Disney getting everything. Shit, you heard him in he, he you 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 hear Professor X's voice in uh Doctor Str- Doctor yeah. Strange shit now. So they. <laughs> I said one thing pissed me off about that. You guys all hear about that? They got Harry Potter. The actor that played Harry Potter is about to try to play Wolverine in a cameo. What the fuck they got going on? <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. This little nigga gonna get swole and shit. Oh, that, all right, y'all did that shit with Batman. Y'all did that shit with Batman. Yeah. Okay. Y'all did that shit with Batman already. That's why I'm like, yo. And I ain't gonna lie, this Batman might be cold. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It just yeah. might be. It might be, it might be cold. For real. I might be hating on it, but that's crazy. So how you? I mean, you being a DJ, so I know this is kind of like a biased question. I don't even know how. I don't, I don't even know how you. I don't. I don't even know if that if that's the right word. But how do you feel about the club scene? Uh, I think appreciate it. I think a lot of people try to shit on the club scene. Like I do. It's not that. It's not. This. I don't shit on the DJs though. I shit on right, the people right. that think they. I know some bum niggas that go to the club with a couple of dollars and they think, you know, I shit on them niggas. And it's it's like to Y'all me, doing your job. That's everywhere, you know? Mm-hmm. You gonna have you need those type of people. <laughs> you need those type of people. But it's like the I think for what we got, 
we do with what we got. You feel me? The last two months, we've been going crazy. Yeah. Everybody. Facts. Gold Room, Monarch, everybody been going crazy. You Facts. feel me? So it's... I think I saw them groupie niggas on uh on a, a little big meat son when he was in gold room. I was I was like wow, it was more niggas on them than bitches. I was like, you niggas are crazy. Shout out to all y'all niggas doing that though. This nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I, I saw mean, you. The, 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 the club scene, it's cool. I, I think it's it's good for what we got. I do. There's a lot of uh, laws that prevent us from what we really want. Like that vibe from like Miami, Houston. Right. We can't do that shit all the way. I mean, it's because these niggas can't handle it, though, bro. It, it, it isn't. But because it's so, like, I don't know. I got a hookah business, right? Mm -hmm. um, I tried the old hookah lounge downtown, Minneapolis. But there's laws where hookah can't be in the Twin Cities. Like an inside. So where do all these niggas be smoking? Oh, that's why they be at the little, that little out deck shit. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, they be yeah. outside. And, you, and, and it's like, that is a huge part. Like, hookah's a wave right now, you feel me? It if is you wave. say you got hookah at this place, everybody's going to go. Because we don't have nothing to do. Sometimes niggas don't want to just drink and listen to loud-ass music. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's something to do. There's, right. not, there's not shit to do here. Right. And it don't make sense to me because why we got cigar lounges, but we can't have hookah lounges. They don't want niggas to have fun. You feel me? This yeah. is, but that's another thing. Minnesota oh, is so slow. Minnesota's having too much slow. fun down there. For real. Oh, hell, oh, hell Minnesota, no. Minnesota's we said so music slow. and booze only. Real, what bro. the fuck is a hookah? I literally, <laughs> I literally set up. I have a whole presentation for Mayor Fry, bro, to show him what it can do for the city and why it should, Mayor why Fry it should be legal. About this old John Stamos looking ass man, he about to get out of town, man. Yeah, he, he, I think he is. Somebody gonna run him out of town. It's gonna be one of these white people. And I'm not advocating violence towards anybody, but I just read those Facebook comments and you Karens, y'all be talking <laughs> crazy to Jacob. And I just want to say that's none of my business, but I saw it. It'd be a lot of uh, Tina's on there too, though. Yeah. Be on his ass. A lot of black women on his yeah, ass. They probably too. in his inbox though. Like Jacob Fry, you know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't you know say how that. that go. You know I, what I'm saying? I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know they would. The moment they had got him after John, you know they posting that nigga. Yeah. Look what I just did, y'all. Right. Like you know it, nigga. <laughs> Bitch, put the camera down. <laughs> you gonna ruin my campaign? <laughs> Shout out to fuck, John. Man. Yeah, <laughs> fuck man, fuck. I knew I should have fucked with you guys. No, fuck. <laughs> like you already know, bro. Shout out. Shout out to. Uh, Shout out to Johns, man. Johns make the world go around. <laughs> they do, man. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I remember, uh, I remember like a year and a half ago when Cardi B was uh, talking about how she used to rob and set niggas up, and then like she said, I, which I guess regular shit, but then she was like, uh, she would drug niggas and then have them do a threesome, but the threesome would be a tranny. I mean, an Autobot. You feel me? That just don't make sense. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> I appreciate y'all having me on the last episode of Say No More. <laughs> I go, I'm not posting that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, I mean no offense, buddy. I'm just joking. This is a this is a comic show. I'm just I'm just having fun, man. Yeah, no one takes me serious. That's what I want to say. Hey, I saw a couple niggas on a, some podcast. I feel like they was dissing me. They were saying that shit. Hey, you know, I meant mm -hmm. to talk to you about Dead this um, the other day. I meant to hit you like, like last week. Mm -hmm. I'm about to start a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, me and my Dave. Dave, called yeah, not yeah. that serious. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna talk to you afterwards. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Let's talk I've about. Been, it. I've been meant. To, I had asked Fat Man for your number like two, three weeks ago. Yeah, Fat No, Fat Man told me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he yeah. had told me about. Yeah, yo, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, but uh. Yeah, it was uh she she Cardi B was talking about how she used to drug dudes, have them thinking they was doing the threesome and it'll be a tranny. I'm like, yo, that's how you get kids. That's what I said, and people said I was wrong for saying that. Hell I no. was like, that's how you get kids. I was like, I was like, is that not rape? If a, I was like, is that not rape? <laughs> I was it, like, that is rape, my nigga. One, no, they would have lost it if a guy drugged him. Rick Ross made that that lyric. What do you say? Oh, put, put a Molly in her drink. Her champagne. What happened to him? Now, if he would really do that shit, he'd be in prison. But that is crazy. Bitches glorifying this. Like you like, can't glorify that shit. To me, me if a girl set me up, I don't give a fuck if it's like tranny or set me up to rob me. You turn into a nigga and you getting that same treatment. Oh, you're, you you harm me, nigga. You put yeah, me in harm's different. way. I gotta. You feel it's me? It's like <laughs> it's like when you play the video game and it's like you would niggas and it's blue and then the moment it do something it turns red. Like oh, you gotta go. You're like it's like Terminator. Yeah, it's like right. I don't know. Like because I saw that shit it was mad people defending that and that's like. Brings up my next point. Females, any race, it's not cool to be a gangster. It's not. It's not cool to be saying gang, gang, gang and all that shit. If them, yeah. if, if, if you got a dude and he really likes that shit, 
he really likes that shit. You, he a fucking weirdo. And he's probably not the guy you really want to marry. Yeah, he's a weirdo. He's to be weirdo. honest, all this shit that the, these ways girls act, the new wave of them, they get w- w- away with it because niggas want to fuck. But when they get 30, 27, 30, when they looking for a man to settle down, it's gonna be non-existent. It's sad, bro. It's it's it's. I know. I literally know chicks that's like literally, and I don't like. I don't judge people. Everybody go through shit in life, but it's mm-hmm. like you should want to be better, learn right. from your shit. Right. I know people constantly see people constantly making the same mistakes, and they older women. I'm like, it's you like 32. Right. You got no man. You talk about how you this and that. You got like two kids. You got like three, three assault. Right. Like you, you bitch. You can't even leave the country. You can't even get an apartment. You can't even get an apartment. You got you need a co-sign. You need some all and types of shit. And you got three kids. And you got three kids. That's why it's like, yeah, that's the last resort. <laughs> but like, that, but that, that pussy get old. That shit dry up. That shit don't last that forever. Shit dry up. Even, a lot of women do not understand that. Even the old Johns don't like that shit at a certain mm-hmm. point in time. That's why I kind of sit back and I'll be like, that's why you always. That's why there's sugar babies yep. because the old sugar niggas babies. always gonna get the young bad bitch. Yep. But you gonna get 26, 27. That pussy gonna dry up. To the side, yep. and don't on get to the me next. Wrong. I'm not, t- I'm not, I'm not coming at women that do that shit at all. I'm like, y'all right. do y'all thing. Get your Look, hustle on. Get your hustle on. Why you can? Why you can though? Just understand, there's, <laughs> it's not a forever thing. It's definitely it's not. not a forever warranty. Got to be careful with that. I see a lot of that shit on the internet, like especially uh, chicks with the get involved with gang shit. Like that's one thing I hate. Like first off, I hate when anybody does it. Yep. Anybody does it. I don't like talking about gang shit on. I feel like it's cop shit. Like it's mm-hmm. the internet. You ain't got nobody. You can't text this dude and like right. It's weird, so I just always be like, the street shit is like kind of OC. Like even like today, when you when you look at what's going on in the city, like certain, you know, what I mean, certain people are are kind of promoting that shit. Like you trying to promote, like we got. To be honest, I'm happy that everybody's doing. We, we need more media platforms. We do. That's why I'm gonna we support really do. every bro. Every person that that got one that's black, I'm supporting them, bro. Right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I. I Y'all don't know Wayne's really my big brother, so it was like I had to get his <laughs> blessing. You feel? That's why I said that. I've been wanting to talk to him about Facts. that podcast shit. No, for real. But uh, yeah, we need more shit like this. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't gonna name other podcasts, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. we got the. Yeah. I left them alone anyway. I left them alone. <laughs> but, I waved uh, the flag. The nigga was crying to other niggas about me. You know, yeah, regardless of exactly. whatever they got bro, bro. going on, we need those type of platforms. We need everything me? to be different. We right. can't be everything the same, and that's why, like, even with with, with them. I saw some shit literally today. I'm like, they're doing, they're like copying what Waterwave is doing now. Right. So that's like, shout out Waterwave. Shout out to Waterwave. I fuck with them for real. Like real shit. I I like what they're doing. They're definitely bringing a huge impact and they're bringing some real attention to the city. I'm, I ain't no hater. Right. Niggas try to call me a hater because I don't like because I call shit out. I ain't no hater, nigga. I'm, I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they, they get feelings confused with facts. Yeah, bro. Like, don't call me a hater. First off, y'all niggas, half y'all niggas don't even know me. How y'all don't know me? You calling me a hater? If it's a fact, it's a fact. Yeah, Yeah, like if I'm hating, I'm a hater. And guess what? Sometimes I am a hater, and I will tell you (laughs) when I'm hating. But don't say I'm hating because of my opinion and you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, for real, that shit, that shit's dope. Because I'm glad that everybody's doing this. Because at the the end of the day, in like five years from now. This shit could be bigger than a lot of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole podcast, it could be bigger than all this shit. All, it, 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 like, what the fuck is he doing? He's throwing me off. Is this nigga Seawalk? I think he's retarded. This nigga. He's getting sturdy. That's what he's doing. Is he retarded? <laughs> yeah, I'm, right, I'm, I, I'm just going to leave him alone anyway. <laughs> he's like one of them niggas that Jeffrey Dahmer took. Nigga, you oh, better get his ass. <laughs> 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 You gotta see, dude. But you didn't. know what's crazy? Jeffrey Dahmer was in the prison in the same city I was in in college my freshman year. You know that a St. Paul family killed him, right? The Scarvers, right? Oh damn! The Scarvers, yeah. The Scarver is, is the dude the guard paid to kill Jeffrey Dahmer. I was just damn. kicking it with uh one of the relatives the other day at the Super Bowl party. I was asking about it. I was like, so that's, was that your uncle or your cousin? He's like, it's my uncle. I was like, did you know him? He's like, no, no, I don't know that nigga. He kept it a buck. He's like, no, I ain't know that nigga. Right. He was in jail for like some uh, another crazy. Clearly, he had yeah, to be. He had bro, to be. Yeah, they killed Jeffrey Dahmer. So shout out to him for that because Jeffrey Dahmer was a wild boy out yeah. here, real wild boy. Yeah. So what's so what's uh the worst thing about being a DJ? People coming up to you with bullshit ass requests. <laughs> What's well, like, hey, yo, what was the wildest request you ever got? Look, though, it's it all wild, but it's just what really <laughs> blows me is like, and I'm not discriminating against anyone, but it's like somebody, you see this club f- packed full of niggas. Right. You come to me, ask me to play Bad Bunny. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. He's trying to get you murdered in that bitch. Like, what? Like, you can't play. 
I can't. Yeah, I can't. It's like people and the, they don't. It's like this is why I'm the DJ and you're not because if you were up here, you got booed off. Yeah. People think that you're supposed to cater to them specifically. Them. Yep. But you have to cater to everybody as a whole. I can take three, four, five, you know, ten people being mad at what I'm playing over a hundred or two hundred people dancing. Ass, yeah. You feel me? I'm not worried about that ten. And motherfuckers who who. Let me you get ever get home, do you ever get homies like trying to like yo play my record, play my record in the club or do? Yeah. I do, but my homies, they understand. Right. They know how it goes. It's a business, man. Yeah, I don't, and if I, this is my thing, if I listen to your music, a lot of people complain, like this whole artist and DJ shit that's yeah. been going on. Yeah, what's up with that? I'm not trying to, I'm not blaming anyone, but I feel like if the artist really wanted it, they'd have it. They don't, these niggas that come to you to one one thirty in the morning, I mean, not one thirty in the club, the club over at 2, drunk as hell, <laughs> hey, bro, can you spin this? All right, two hundred dollars. Then they mad. You want me to? I don't, first of all, your shit could be ass. I'm not saying it is, but I'm not willing to find out in front of all these people for my reputation. You feel me? I'm not doing that, and yeah. they don't understand that type of shit. It's different if somebody come to me before the club. They DM me, hey, bro, I got this record, this, this, and I'm gonna tell you straight up if I can play it or not. And I have plenty of people who DM me, and I told them this is a good song, but it's not a club record. Right. And people get confused just because it's they song they wanted in the club. In the club, this is not a song to get played in nah. the club, dog. This is not, not the song. This is not, not the place to play that. Niggas want to play some J. Cole in the club. You feel me? Niggas like, that type of shit. And I was like, that. ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, bitches don't want to hear but that. But it's not in the club. Because at the end. look at you like, eh. Right. Dude, like, nah. That's not. It's going to be like house party. Switch. <laughs> For real. That's a big fact. Because even that's why even this whole summer, I went out to a bunch of clubs. Because if you search the music, like, you get one side of music. And you, you might find a, a pocket of good music. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it's like, this isn't. Right. Where people are here. Right. So you really need to go out to the club and get that vibe of like, oh, this is the sound I need to make. Right. And, and people complain about DJs charging. It's a business. It's definitely and, and a business. I don't, if I hey, fuck listen. with your music and I think it's good, I'm not listen, charging you. Any type of promotion, I understand. Right. But 400 for 20 minutes sounds insane. I just want to say that because, no, nah, I didn't. Nigga, Somebody said that? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what, that, that's what it was about. Four hundred dollars? <laughs> them niggas charge. Them niggas charge this nigga four fifty for twenty minutes. Some of them niggas. Oh, pay twenty minutes? Hell yeah! For 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 a podcast. Oh, for, for, yeah. oh yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Why did they do the same shit? I'm no. No, I'm saying though because no, I want niggas to this no. shit because there's a couple guys that like like you just said that like you was explaining. I'm cool with these guys. Mm -hmm. I got love for them, right. but their music is not one. Of, and I told him I was like, dude, we want to come on the podcast, and I'm like, well, right. <laughs> I, I, you're my friend. Just give me sixty bones. Right. I gotta edit this shit. I gotta I gotta promote it. Mm -hmm. I don't really. I, I, it's not necessarily what I'm gonna put on my channel. Right. That's why I'm like, you know, I'd rather have. And sixty is shit. And th that's not. And that, I feel like I told a nigga that, bro. He got offended by it. He was just like, anybody who's you serious studio, about their music. Weird, you doing all this? Right. You pay 60 bucks right. You paying for, for studio? For an hour me? of content that's gonna be forever. And you it's your homie, get, bro. Not, not only that, you about to get. Your personality out here. This is your chance to get it off your fucking chest at a high rate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I got a million followers, no views, but niggas be watching my shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Facts. And I don't got fake followers or fake Facts. views like you other niggas. Right. Niggas, nigga. <laughs> anyway. It's it's thorough. About time and effort, like the editing, mm -hmm. the time to get here set up. And I get yeah, and, and that's like the, a small fee because at the end of the day, I know that's just what I signed up for. Facts. Y'all know this is a little nice setup. I ain't gonna Oh man, shout out, man. man! Shout out to uh, man, shout out to my partner in crime, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to six hundred, man. He's like the he's like he's like he's like a shadow, nigga. He okay. he here, but he here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out my nigga yeah. Keith back there, though. Yeah, yeah, world. Look at him. Oh God. But I my feel nigga like be on some incognito Batman <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Anybody who's serious, who really serious and about about this music shit, they know this shit costs money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And, and it's like I ain't gonna lie, like. A lot of these artists don't have no teams. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use Skeet as an example. You no, know, let up Skeet. Yep. His team, although I DJ for them, their team is set up nice. Shout Any out, new music, TM man. TM yeah. is in my email. Oh, Every drop, you feel me? Three, four, I'm five songs. To get all them niggas on here actually. You, right, you feel I'm me? Every to get all them any, niggas. Skeet, B Money, Sick, any of them drop anything is in my in my email. You feel me? And, and a lot of artists don't do that. My emails in my bio, my Twitter. On my Facebook page, on my they IG, never send you the email. They just be like, Check, they'll try to tag you in it, send it to your inbox. I ain't gonna lie, I had a situation last week where somebody had emailed me, but they emailed me like, "Yeah, so and so told me to hit you about a song," and then 
they did me on Instagram and I told them. I'm like, I told them the price. I'm like, and they never responded. And so I'm like, after the club, I had seen them and right. I really chopped it up. But I'm like, look, I ain't got no problem playing with no music. If you would have approached it right, if you would, instead of saying that, you could have said that and sent your music because I would have listened to it if right. I would have seen it. Exactly. You feel me? But you niggas you, be playing these one word texts. Right, right. Niggas. It's like, if you, I think people are, are nervous. nervous. In business, you got to be direct. If you want your shit played, send me your shit. I feel like in life, and you gotta let me be direct. Know. For, for, Facts. Like, not not rude, but direct. direct. So that's why, like, Clear. there's no misunderstanding. Exactly. People. That's, that, that's what me. I hate when people say, oh, I thought it would. No. Right. Like, that's why, my, like, the, my biggest thing is to tell them how you mean it your way. That way mm-hmm. they get it. And make sure they get it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, like you said, they don't do that, bro. They, they just kind of just. They expect, they expect yep, exactly. They expect it to come. It's like, yeah. bro, you can't come to me at 130. In the club, at the height of the club, you, you feel me? And I know you probably having a couple yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You're DJing, you're right. Gotta, you gotta stay in the, you know, <laughs> nigga. But you, you ain't, you can't come. If you sloppy drunk and you not even talking, making sense, like bro, I'm not trying to hear that. That shit speaking of making, not making sense, man. How you feel about the dating scene in Minnesota? Psst. <laughs> everybody <laughs> date <to> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this question is like becoming a new thing, man. I got, you the third one I asked this, man. First I asked, no, I can't remember what Just Jimmy said. I can't remember what he said. But I, I remember Camp Bennett said the chicks look sick during the winter or some shit like that. Uh, v said, don't do it. <laughs> you just said everybody's dating everybody. Yeah. What the fuck is going on My outside? thing is, <laughs> for, for one, I'm not, I don't, I'm not dating nobody I meet at the club. That's, real. that's number one. Ooh. I'm not saying nothing wrong with you. Could be different, but that's just not it's where not I plan to meet a woman to you. carry my fucking kids. That's not happening. You I, feel I, me? I, I hear you. And that's just what it is. A lot of people, a lot of people in the club, know what the culture is. They know. They know they sharing this nigga with whoever. Facts. It, it just is what it is. I just seen mad shit go down in y'all club, man. I remember this uh, picture went viral. You? Yeah, <laughs> this girl, uh, this girl is crazy. I don't think I went to school with her too, man. She was giving uh, fellatio favors in the uh, in, in the club booth. I was like, wow, it was at y'all club. It was definitely at Monarch. It was definitely at Monarch. Where the fuck was that? Yeah, it was. It was wild. It was some wild shit. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what is going on in Minneapolis? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Damn, she went to Central. Yeah. I was gonna say that's some Minneapolis shit, but damn. Nah, I think they was from there though. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a girl. She got a, she got a twin. People gonna know what I'm talking about now. No, why the fuck you say that? <laughs> he just sings to everybody else. This many people. Hey, shame, shame. <laughs> <laughs> I know your name. <laughs> hey man, I, 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 I'm, I'm all for holding people accountable. That's why when people like even like even act like they got like some type of dirt on me, I'll be like, nigga, you don't go ahead. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why like the shit just be kind of funny in life when you see shit like for instance you ever you ever like talk to a person and like a nigga be like yeah you know how I get down right. and you literally have no, no idea, idea how he gets down like no idea be like, and then sometimes you be cool with the motherfucker you love him, you be like yeah mm-hmm. how the fuck this nigga get down what does that even mean nigga? what he on you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's just funny, man. <laughs> but no, I mean, a dating team in Minnesota, I heard it's, uh, like you said, I heard what you say. I heard a lot of, yeah. it's like that. I heard it's, it's a, yeah. It's, I mean, not you can find, this is my thing. Women complain, men complain too, but you don't hear it as much. Women complain so much about these niggas. Mm-hmm. When they all recycling the same niggas. Yeah, I be seeing that too. And they, and it's like, they, they want the right now, but they not, do, they not really wives. They can't be too wise. They, I know chicks that literally be getting knocked up by niggas from different hoods. Like exactly, you get locked up from nigga from East Side, <laughs> right? Nigga over here, nigga over there. It's like there is that's weird. That's a weird household. It is, and it's like as as a your man, your daddy's a punk. Exactly, my daddy killed your daddy. Like right, like wild shit. weird <laughs> like, as hell. It's like yeah. I feel like as a woman, like you, I don't give a fuck. We not fucking with each other. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna fuck, gonna fuck with your op. Yo, that's nah. that's weird. That's something in you that I can't fuck with. That ain't regardless of what we got going on. There's no way I'm going because at the end of the day you got my kid. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I hate when men do that type of shit. Yeah, that niggas shit weird too. Niggas have to do that shit with me, bro. Yeah. Like when I have my problem with them, with them guys, and it's podcast shit. It's like niggas I never met. Like yeah, and I'm just like. Nigga, we not finna just get cool because of you know. I don't even know you. You might right. be a dirtbag, nigga yourself. Exactly. Nigga. I feel like, like niggas need to mind their business. Niggas change when they go on the, when they go in the store, nigga. <laughs> nigga probably definitely still niggas change roaches. Oh, he said change. change. I thought he said change. Roaches, all that shit. 
Oh, no, for you, man. I don't, man. There's some. There's nah, some, there is. There's I know. Me, man. I had a couple niggas probably like niggas that. On blast. For sure. I, I know this nigga. <laughs> That's why I'm smoking my car no more. Especially stealing roaches. Yeah, I'm like, why you gonna steal the rope, nigga? I'll give you a blunt, my nigga. Like, right. what's wrong with you? I was gonna come back and hit that, man. <laughs> like, that was like, they don't understand. Like, that was my, that was me. That was my relationship earlier today. Like, you can't right. be doing that. Like, right. why would you do that? Hey, they treat women like they treat. Like your roaches, yeah, you're right. So to be honest, like, yeah. I'll I ain't gonna lie though, bro. It, it, I ain't never been so disappointed in the women. <laughs> oh, go ahead. It, it's just like DJ A One Samuels. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, bro. It's just like the shit that they got, like the way they think. Yeah. It's like they preach all day. It's like, bitch, if you want better, do better. <laughs> Woo! It's that simple. They don't want to hear it, bro. Every it's time, that simple. Every time you bring up accountability to a woman. She talk about what a nigga gonna do. Right. She always brings up. But what about like, no? Yeah, what about like, what about you? What about stop you? saying all niggas like all dudes is the same. Like right. first off, they not. You do you know what a real yeah, man you know wants? What you like these cornball, fake fake street tough niggas. That's right. not street tough niggas. They just high on drugs. Got beat up their whole life. They probably insecure. The moment they go to jail, they're gonna be crying like some bitches. Mm-hmm. Like remember, uh, I was a dude out here. He uh, he said nigga stole his chain or some stole his phone. And he was trying to fight him, and then he was like, "I'm calling my mom. I'm calling my mom." What? Yeah. And for a moment, I believed him because I'm like, you know, you can't take, you know, the way these little niggas. Is. I thought maybe he did have, you know, something. Oh, he was a little nigga. They was like, you know, they wasn't like small dudes, but they were kids. They were younger kids. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. You know, these little niggas is all tall now. Right. They still get, they'll still get dropped. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. But you know, they <laughs> like just work for yeah, real. Yeah, they, yeah, they still get <laughs> dropped. I do up. I be, I be, I, kinda, I sometimes be wanting to like, like teach a nigga a lesson. But I'm like, yeah. you know what, bro. I'll be damned if I go out that way. Right. I'll be mad as fuck in heaven. Like, what the fuck? This bitch, this nigga just killed me. Yeah, these little niggas are popping off. Like, what the fuck? What is he doing? This nigga Millie rocking over my body and shit. <laughs> nigga. Like, these little niggas is rude, bro. Yeah. That's because yeah. they can't fight. They can't fight. They can't fight. They can't fight. Everybody so want to like, shoot. I, I put it like this, man. If you consider yourself a real dude, you kind of conscious of what's going on, you're aware, stay away from cornball niggas like that. Facts. Any nigga that, like, I, like, I remember, uh, Man was telling me he was at a party once and like a random nigga walked up to him and showing him he had a gun. Oh, like, that shit, this cornball yeah, shit, where it's like, so don't, crazy. yeah, like that shit, weak. this cornball shit like that, where it's like, bro, we all in here kicking it. What's your point? Right. And like, a real dude that really does that is not gonna be nothing like that. He's gonna be the nicest guy to you. Right. Until there's a problem. Exactly. Like the niggas don't walk around just be violent. That's right. why I like when white people be like, oh. You not scared to walk through this neighborhood? Hell no, nigga, we good. Nigga. Right. I know that nigga cool. Right. Hey, Dante. Dante, what up? <laughs> Trying to match a nigga? I'll be all right. You need some reps? <laughs> Ain't you just right. get out? Just got out. Nigga. All right, word. All right, yeah, fuck it. Well, yeah, I'll be over there in a minute. What's some Henny? <laughs> Two cups? Oh, God. No, that's why I just be like, bro, it's like white criminals. And I'm going to talk about that like pretty soon. Like white criminals and black criminals. Shout out to John X. Why is John X calling me? John, you on the podcast? I'm I'm recording right now. What's up, bro? Oh, you on the podcast? My bad. No, you good? You good? I picked up. I'm like, I got John X on the line. You hear me? This nigga hung up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nigga hung up. Yeah. That might be your time because we got eight percent on there. All right. Yeah. Y'all was gonna say, uh, yeah, we could wrap it up too, real quick, man. You got anything, you got any more shit you want to talk about, man? I want to have y'all niggas on the panel because I want to have like an actual. Oh yeah. There's a huge difference, though, between, like, black serial killers and white serial killers. And I say that like this. Like, yes, if, if, if you a dude, if, if a dude's in the hood is shooting niggas, what, whatever, it's over. You shoot, you got, like, seven bodies. Like, yes, you could call that nigga a psychopath. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But a white guy that typically kills, like, seven people. Kills them at once. He kills them at <laughs> once. He waits. He'll, like, sniff their panties. Yeah. like. Yeah, they all look alike. Like, it's and like, he'll leave his mark. And he'll leave his mark. Like, it's like, it's, it's a different type of thing. Like, when they say, because, like, you could call a lot of niggas in the hood I, serial killers. I think that's that biological makeup, bro, of the, the caucus biological mountains. makeup. I like that shit, where it's like. Said in the caucus mountains. For real. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That shit, it don't make no sense to me. Because niggas, niggas serial killers, okay, it's, it's stupid, but they got. Not saying valid reasons, but they reasons. You know, like it's okay, different I, shit. Like you, said, I'm in the hood. Bro, I'm in the hood. Everybody trying to kill each other, but this nigga killed like four of my cousins. Right, this nigga, killed my brother, Tom, is just a weirdo <laughs> who can't get no ass. <laughs> so he gonna kill every bitch he raped. How do you they know? say? Ooh, I'm Tom say watched that. her for weeks. Facts. 
as he got struggling looking at it. like they just go crazy with that shit. It's yeah. like it turned to something different, man. Jeffrey like, Dahmer, bro, that shit's Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer. Like, weird. You man. could argue that King Von was a serial killer if he really did all that. You could definitely. Argue that. I, it's more than it's more than three, right? Seven, I heard. Oh hell no, I think it's more than three. That you a serial oh, killer. Oh, no, no, I thought you were talking about Vaughn. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Facts, 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 yeah, facts, facts. So facts. Like, yeah, anybody yeah. who killed more than three, you know, you're a serial you're killer. You're a serial killer. It's now, there's different, I think there's different levels of serial killers. That's a fact. Because there's some niggas who's just crazy in the hood, and there's some niggas who's like, just. White people, like, like, romanticize it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know that on Netflix, there's Ted Bundy. Right. Uh, show, not even a documentary. It's a show. There's a The You Show. Bro. Mm-hmm. Buddy is stalking this bitch the whole time. There's and st- all these females are like. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Talk. I'm not saying there ain't shout no black to, people uh, like shout that. Out to, shout out to Joe Goldberg. But <laughs> <laughs> I watch you. Is no, you right though. Like literally, when you say that shit, you're not lying. Cause like when you just said that, they got they got three they got three Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer documentaries, and they got a movie. Mm-hmm. You talking about they got the show, documentary, and the movie. The movie with a uh, boy from a uh, High School Musical. Is that yeah. what Zach, Zach, uh, Zach Efron? Zach, Zach Efron. Yo, they say got Zach Lawson. Shout right. out Zach Lawson. <laughs> Talk to Zach, nugget head ass nigga man. About, that nigga man, yo, next time he in he in the Paul, I'm about to just kidnap that nigga and bring him here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to play that nigga one on one. Hey yo, that's the only nigga. That's the only nigga I never beat beat one on one, bro. I'm getting frustrated with that that's shit. That's why I'm gonna play his ass one on one. Luckily, it was it was a third nigga there. Shout out to Bretton McNeil. I got I I got his ass though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that nigga. Them niggas eliminated us in uh, high school. Fuck them niggas too. <laughs> For real, that nigga Jonah Travis was banging Go on Martin. Going stupid, He was boy. banging on Martin Smith. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Why you call him Martin? Martin, why you on that with you? <laughs> oh, I'm on that with anybody. You know that. I ain't gonna lie. I remember when one, man, everybody. Jonah was, was going crazy. He was going, bro, he had like 24. They all was dunks. Facts. And it's crazy. <laughs> you know, it was like, in high school, you're not crazy that shit. But you looks, know what's bro? so crazy though? That Reed was he was on the team, but he wasn't playing like that. Dude, him and he, him and Marcus was the same grade. Marcus mm-hmm. was starting. Marcus, yep, was Marcus was starting. Reed, but I'll be honest, bro. Reed, Reed wasn't ready to play with us then. Yeah, probably not. He yeah. was just he just wasn't him yet. That's because he wasn't he wasn't him yet. He didn't grow up how we grew up. Yeah, exactly. He, he, didn't, he mean, wasn't he, he didn't wasn't, grow up like he had the height. Because I remember him and Marcus were playing on the same AAU team yep. because uh Chris Carter. Was mm-hmm. that the nigga name? The nigga of of forty three who's Penny. It was uh, it was one of them niggas. That, I think it was a nigga from forty three who used to play for the Vikings, bro. Not Chris. Carter. No, it's not Chris. No, no he, he played, he played it's Penny Denver. Hardaway, bro. No, it wasn't Penny. It was somebody else. He was he was at, he was at the game, bro. He was like their air U team coach. Like it was like this is like twenty eleven. I swear it was dude that played for the Timberwolves. He was in a dunk contest once. I swear to God. Gerald Green. Nope. It was a dark skin dude. He was like he ran forty three hoops. I swear to God. Uh. I forgot his name. Nah, he was another dude. He was in it too. Gerald you know? Green too was in it. Ger- yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it, uh, cupcake. Yeah, mm-hmm. No, it was another. No, it was another dude in it too. He just didn't. He just didn't make it long oh, type shit. Jr. Ryder, th- didn't he win that shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You thinking of niggas? You thinking of niggas who won? Yeah, they don't really mention niggas that just be in it. You know what I'm saying? But no, he uh, he was in a dunk contest though. I think he got eliminated like the first round though. But he was. I forgot his name, bro. It's Chris something. Chris something. But no, he was at the game type shit. Ball head. No, he had like a fade at that time. He used to wear. He's he nigga, nigga was walking around wearing them uh. The weird fucking hats, bro. The weird hats, like the hats that uh Raiden be wearing. <laughs> he was wearing them in the wintertime. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga? This nigga about to teleport. He got a son? I don't know. I really don't know. I know another Chris or something. I bro, I, 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 I forgot his. Yeah, it's a dark skin dude, bro. He played with the wolves. You remember, Col- you remember Ms. Colbert from Central? Yeah. But her friend, he was her friend. He had came in to talk to us one time. But he had a son in the league now. Uh huh. But he from here. Uh, I think that's what you're talking about, though. He, his name is Chris. I'm he, his bro, he name. older. He 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 older. He he old, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it might be him, yeah. bro. He played for the Wolves for a little bit. And I'm like, I didn't even know that. Like, I remember when we was like, I might you coached. He was like one of them niggas that like played, but like niggas really wouldn't know if they knew him type shit. Right. right. I was like, shout out to him. But yeah, bro, that game was just crazy, bro. Because shout out to my nigga Jones Green and them too. But man, bro, it was just bad. But I never forget. Martin had two points. Jones had four. But Jones wasn't even a scorer like that. Jones, but Jones averaged like twelve and like nine. But you know Jones was good yeah, for missing them damn layups. <laughs> and then on top of that, uh, I feel like don't I, nigga, I was the high scorer that game, bro. Me and Chip. Damn, I remember that game. Me too. and Chip. I was, and you know, uh, Coach Hawk. We was at Dealers. Oh, we was at Wyzetta. No, we was at uh, Wyzetta. Uh, no, it wasn't Wyzetta. It was uh, it was it was one. It was uh, what's that? Hopkins. No, it was one. Start with a B. Brainer. No, not Brainer. Not Brainer. Bloomington. Not Bloomington. It's one of them B ones. Bitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
I got the tape, man. I forgot. It was I one know exactly. Of, what you it was one. It was why is that, bro? It was the bees. The, the, the skill was the Eagles. All right, the Eagles or some shit like. Oh, that. was it Tatino Grace? No, it was not Tatino Grace. They it was, was there. They were there. Yeah, they was there. It they was Tatino there, Grace they though. They were in the same joint. It was at like I, I swear it was started. Burnsville. Ones of Burnsville. It was. It was. It was one of the ones with the bees. You said I Eagles. I, I swear I remember their school thing being an eagle. I don't know if that was like the thing, but I remember it was wild because I remember bro. we played there. The uh, it was the, a section game, right? Yeah, it was section game. But that was it was at YZ. It wasn't at YZ. I swear to God, it wasn't. I remember. I would remember that. It wasn't at YZ. It wasn't at YZ. I remember because we played there the sent my junior year when that nigga uh, Jacob Thomas and Zach went crazy. Mm-hmm. Them niggas had like a Coach Carter moment. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James, I'm only time crazy. Let's talk about why you ain't played football. I should have played football. This nigga should have played football. I should have played football. I ain't gonna lie. I look back at. I look back now. I'd, I I would have been a cornerback. I would have been a corner or a safety. Safety. He definitely. Yeah, I'd have been a cornerback or a safety. Ah! You've been safety for sure. Like I definitely would have. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, honestly, I played football my seventh grade year for Palace. Wait, that nigga Anthony Lee, mm-hmm. Jody Washington, all them niggas. Nigga, this nigga Jody <laughs> cracked me so hard. I didn't want to play football. <laughs> And it fucked me up because Joe, I was bigger than Jody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jody's not a big dude, but the nigga knew how to hit. And that's when I realized, okay, this is just not about, it's not about, you know what I mean? Right, that type right, of shit. And I'm right. like, I never want to feel that shit again. <laughs> no, like, seriously, I'm going to tag him in this shit. He probably don't remember this shit. We was doing a drill and he cracked his shit But you was me. young, though. I was. Knowing if you would have had that mindset, me. like. He scared me out of it. It was seventh grade. You would have been a different ass nigga. in high school, I definitely got bigger. Like, Big as hell. Yeah, I, I was, yeah. And so like I was like, God damn! But looking back, bro, I swear to God, everything I love, bro, I literally would have played football. I, I definitely would have. Hey, Wade was the only basketball player on our team benching over two hundred pounds. <laughs> and Jones, maybe, no maybe Jones, maybe, maybe Jones, Jones too. It made no sense. Maybe Martin, but them niggas ain't touching no weights. Nah, they weren't touching no weights. But this bro. nigga was in the ba- in the weight room like he playing football. Because man, Coach Howe, man, like I remember when that nigga told me, "Don't dribble." Facts. He said, "Don't dribble." He said, "Just shoot. That's it. Don't oh. don't dribble. Don't run. Just shoot." Do you know what that do? You, but that limits you. That yeah. fucks you up. It do. Like shout out to Zach Lofton. Zach Lofton is the reason I really like. I worked out with like him the summer before I went to JUCO. That's when I kind of got my step back and all that shit. Working mm-hmm. out with him. And that's really all you need. Did you go to Lake I, Region? Huh? Went why. to Lake Region? No, I went to uh, Riverland. Oh, okay, Riverland. Fuck them niggas though. Them niggas some that's bitches. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro, like, no, like, and I was like, and I, and I was like, I, I did that, then I, then I played, I met you like my second year of college, though, but still, though, so, yeah, but still, though, that, no, that, the, the, by then it was muscle memory, bro, that's why it's like, I kind of look back at that shit, I get kind of upset, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to be one of these right, Andre right, right, Ingram right. niggas, right. like, let go, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right, like, shout right. out to, like, good, definitely do it for a cardio workout, right. that's what I'm going to try to do, right. but for the most part, hey, the NBA called, they didn't call, you didn't make it, you right. know what I'm saying, right, like, right. <laughs> But it's still fun to get it for cardio, though. It is. I'm definitely. I remember you texted me last Friday. I'm gonna I'm go. I'm going this Friday. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I saw your text. Yeah. I just was like, I ain't ready yet. I am <laughs> wanting to get some shoes, man. What's some good basketball shoes, man? I know y'all still be. He fuck with the Kyrie's. I know you fuck with the Kyrie's. <laughs> That's this nigga's favorite fucking. Player. Man, let's talk about your. Let's talk about your man's. Let's talk about your man's ruining the big three. Sixteen games because he wanted hey, to be woke. Hey, hey, hey. What big three? James Harden ain't no big three. I oh, mean, shit. You can say that. I mean, got no defense. Offensive guy. No <laughs> Kyrie ain't got no defense either. Hey, hey. I ain't gonna lie. But <laughs> Kyrie want to play though. He can't. He can't. Kyrie can't front. sit down and guard nobody. Who he gonna guard? He can't guard Steph. He can't guard CP3. He can guard Steph. Steph. I'm just saying, like the point guards. He can't guard Lamelo. He can't guard Ant. Who the fuck can he guard? Honestly, any point guard really can't guard any other point guard. Yeah, that's right. It's becoming like a whole mismatch league because the offense is so offense. crazy. The offense is definitely crazy he right now in the NBA. Hell Thanks. yeah, you need you definitely need one. Like mm-hmm. you need that more than you need a nigga that can shoot a three right now. Like you need a nigga that can move the ball, like it, drive and in. drive in, penetrate all that shit. Yep. But nah, man. In closing, man, what's like some of your uh, biggest things? No, hold on, I'm gonna have to ask you. How, how was your experience with uh, light skin Keisha? You know what I'm saying? Her, her old Y'all sexy seen it. thing, thing, thing. Y'all seen it? And yeah, if you haven't, go follow me at, on IG underscore DJ A one the number one. <laughs> underscore DJ A1 underscore But uh She cool as hell She like down to earth Yeah she wasn't on no celebrity ass shit You know she was really 
most, interacting with motherfuckers like most motherfuckers be on some other shit like they got it like they just too good okay. you feel me like but she wasn't on that she was trying to turn the fuck up that's what i saw when yeah. i saw her right behind you i'm like yo she right behind bro. hey this is like, yo there's a clip though when i had looked at it somebody people asking like why the fuck you look at her like that? no i saw that's when i saw you like i don't did you i didn't know, know who she was at first like, the fuck is this? nigga you know you know in the club, that shit happen all the time, and I hate that shit. Like, get the fuck off me. They could be like, oh, Martin, on house party. <laughs> Yo, you bump the table again, I'm going to kick your fucking oh heart That's out. how it be. When anytime I go to a monarchy, I watch that shit. Yeah, <laughs> that shit be like that. <laughs> and it's like, even on Saturday, like, I had, to, I had to get security, kick some girl out, her ass brought her drink, and literally tried to put it on the stand, and everything spilled on the DJ shit. I'm, hey, get her ass out of here. Like. Why was she it was it? so reckless. Why it's like she, she did it on purpose. Yeah, I don't think she like, did it on purpose. I was just gonna say, like, I think she why? was fucked up. But it was just like, like she did it on purpose. You it just walked away quick. That. As Yo, hell. that shit costs a lot of money. A man. lot of that's fucking money. Telling motherfuckers, like, bro, like a lot of shit costs money. And they don't understand. Like, that's why a lot of people who want a DJ don't because of how much that shit really costs. Same with the uh, with even with this oh, shit. This, exactly. Yeah, I told niggas cause like, don't get me wrong. There's definitely places that rent out equipment and shit. Right. But at the end of the day, I'm just gonna tell niggas because I did that shit. I went that route before. You gonna spend more? I'm gonna tell you niggas, you're gonna spend, gonna spend three way times more. more, and you're not gonna be able to put out as much work as you exactly want to. Exactly. I used to do with DJ equipment. I used See? to rent that shit, but and then that now shit, you bought your own shit, right? Exactly. Like Five hundred dollars for day. Buy your own shit. You are the owner of your own shit. Buy that shit, learn how to master it, and you can charge people. It's an investment. It's an investment, bro. This ain't, don't do it for fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even me right now, like, there's a lot of shit I don't even be promoting what I what I actually do. Like, I had that camera. I know how to work that camera. I know how to shoot videos. I know how to fucking right. take all that, all that fly shit. So it's like, there's so many people that do it already. Right. They'll be like. Right. That's one thing I hate. My dad was like, fuck them niggas. He <laughs> I didn't know. say that. Uh, I was, I he know. didn't say that, but he's like, yeah, fuck Shout that. out Big Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Big Homie. For real, man. But that, that is a lot of, like, when everybody come into a new space, and there's already a lot of people doing it, people don't really accept them. You know? I'm accepting any new DJ. Bro. I, I feel like I, I'm so passionate about it because the way Advance and Polo, Polo, me and Polo are around the same age, but Polo was in the club before me. Right. And it was something where Monarch had their own DJ, so it was Polo and him. So Polo really couldn't bring me on. Polo right. was like, I talked to him. He's like, is this nigga gone? You're going to be the first person I hit? And it's crazy. Like, two days later, the nigga was gone. And he, it's a whole bunch of shit that went down. And he hit me like, what you want? So, shit, it's been that ever since for like four or five years. And that just took a motherfucker just believing in you and, like, supporting your, but supporting me and Polo, your dream. But we bro. had worked together. Because Polo used to throw parties, too. Right. Underground parties. Under parties with you. Yeah, yep, yep. He was the one at the warehouse with you and shit? No, he wasn't. It was, so, it's me. I don't know if, you know, Big John. Oh, you, you already know. I only know one Big John. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay. But um, my nigga Newski, my nigga Devil. So, it was us four. Oh, uh, shout out FT. But oh, okay, um, I'm tripping. I'm thinking he was one. Of, he was one of y'all. No, okay, he, I'm tripping. He was him, Ken Bennett, JT, YP. Okay, that was really them when they was. Okay, so did you hear about? I remember Ken Bennett was on here. He said some shit about uh, nigga, what's the nigga? Peter Guns? No, uh, Corey Guns. Corey Guns being on parties on the East Side. Did you know about that? Alright <laughs> On the east When the fuck was Cam on the east side Bro I asked a lot of I asked a lot of niggas This shit And no one knows About this shit I asked I asked niggas On the east side I was like So when was Cam Bennett on the I ain't, Not even Cam Bennett I said when was Corey Guns yeah. I'm like when was Corey Guns on the east side Of St. Paul I ain't gonna say He wasn't on the east side But I don't ever Remember seeing Cam, Cam okay. in St. Paul Alright <laughs> Cam not from St. Paul Yeah I, knew, I already know when he Shout was out here, Cam What's up boy Shout out to Cam Yeah, He, he was definitely Looking around <laughs> Yeah, Cam, I swear to God, the whole interview was looking around. He was yeah. like, nerd. I was like, bro, you good, bro? I was like, bro, you're in a fucking corporate building. Yeah. You're in a, like, there's a bank bro, right there. There's I hate right here. Minneapolis niggas come to Minnesota, I mean, St. Paul, and act like it's fucking Chicago. Bro, bro the bro, South Side of Chicago. Let's talk about it, man. I'm glad you said something. Damn. Let's talk about it, man. Hey, yo, I love, I got, I got mad love for niggas from Chicago. But mm -hmm. a lot of you niggas, y'all come in this bitch, and y'all niggas swear y'all like the Super Saiyan level three. Right. Y'all ain't the toughest niggas in the universe. Yeah, I hate I hate Stop when people it. say where they from before they. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You know where would that? What, what does that mean? <laughs> you know like he just gave you some ultimate powers. Yeah, like, I'm from Planet Vegeta. Like, <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? My dad, my dad told me he was like, yeah, because he remembers like when everybody was coming up from Chicago, he was in that right. thing, so he remembers shit. He's like, man, 
everybody who came up to Minnesota first, they got kicked out of Chicago. That's what I'm always right. been, bro. I see, and his and, and usually white reasons and they can't be there. That's a real OG that's, that, that right. lived in that era that right. knows what he's talking about. Right. That's why I've said that shit. I'm like, cause and I see it happening with the niggas our age. That's why I'm like, it has to start with y'all dads and y'all uncles too. Why are y'all here? So like your, your daddy dad, was a pussy. My dad from Philly. My dad actually got kicked out of the state. Like the governor said, you can't come here. My uncle was living here working. In downtown Minneapolis. They don't know about Wayne. Yeah, my about uncle got his eye fucked up. He got jumped. Big Wayne. He jumped. My uncle got his eye fucked up. He got jumped really bad, and he had to get surgery. My dad came up here, and he never left. Boom. That's why a real story of why your parents are here. My mom was living in Chicago, but her family was already living in Minneapolis. Type shit. Right. I don't know them niggas. The men are part of that era. They right. could have. They could have been extra too. But I do know my grandfather, uh, Ralph. He uh, did a. Uh, Ryan O'Neal's hair, Superfly. It's some old shit. You know, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Some old and, shit. And it's not even everybody, because some people got up here and realized it's a good opportunity, either job wise or hustle life wise. Yeah, Just life wise, was, it was a better like, living. It's yeah. The loud ones. People come up here and be like, yeah, I'm from uh, Southside. I'm from this block. This yeah. Block. It's like, I don't give a fuck. And, <laughs> right. And that's the real <laughs> shit, because I'll be honest, bro. St. Paul people, no matter if you know each other, if you, you, you know a nigga from Minneapolis, bro. Facts. I'm just saying. The whole bro, aura different. Y'all niggas act, y'all, act, y'all niggas totally act weird, bro. I'll be honest. Y'all niggas do not act like y'all got no sense, bro. I'll be like, <laughs> and if you see a St. Paul nigga, I can probably a crackhead. Which we, we can't we can't count crack here because crack is universal, nigga. <laughs> I think it's like walking. Broadway over in Minneapolis. Yeah, it's like Broadway, Broadway yeah. Lindale, Lake Street, University, uh, Unidale, Rice all Street. that shit. Rice Street, <laughs> all those are the same. Those are the same yeah. communities. It's the same thing. You might see the same crackhead over there that you seen over there. Like, How the right. fuck did you get over here? I teleported. <laughs> <laughs> they got a shuttle. Yeah, they got a crack shuttle. They probably do. Shout out to uh, Joe Biden and the crack pipe line. Nah, display. How y'all feel bro. about that? I didn't look into it. I didn't look into it, but if it is what it say it is, he is. Is it basically like he's making like a basically making like what when Nino Brown did on New Jack City, bro? Like he's letting people uh, like a safe place for them to do drugs or what is it? I I I didn't look into it at all. I think I looked into it a little bit. It's more about the um, diseases transmitted from people using the same needles or pipes. Okay. Or whatever. So who the fuck's shooting up crack? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna start giving free. Yeah, if they see somebody like they know who's a crackhead or whatever has substance abuse, who's gonna be giving them out? The pe- there's people who literally like they do. This is my thing. They go around and give out Narcan stuff or needles. Now think about this: how wow. how as backwards as America? What if they put the va- What if they put the vaccine? In there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Hey, would they put the vaccine? Wouldn't that be crazy? They wouldn't give a fuck. Got you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> They so probably be even so more. So you high. get it, you go get a vaccine. He said, "Oh yeah, he's already been vaccinated." I'm like, "What? <laughs> Bitch, I ain't been vaccinated." <laughs> but that shit's so ass bad. How the fuck can you take the time and resources to go hand out crack pipe instead of helping these people? That don't make sense to me. You got the time and energy to go outside to 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 fucking help their addiction rather than help oh, them. No. That shit don't make you no sense. Uh, not the bomb, bro. Oh shit! Fuck it, I'm about to get some energy. That shit don't make no sense. Like, yeah, I have a little bit of that. Fuck it. Nah, man, that shit, dog, that shit is crazy, though. And, like, even, like, I ain't gonna lie. I remember, like, not even go super political, but I remember when they were voting, the whole right. voting situation. My whole thing was this. Biden was saying crazy shit already. We kind of, you know, he's kind of proven. He's proven why you shouldn't have voted for him. Facts. And my thing is, you already had one motherfucker that you was already dealing with. Why bring in a whole new face of racism when right. you already got this face to deal with? And this face's imprint is still left here. It's not like it left. And it's so crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Trump was doing shit. He was, bro. He was. I mean, he, you can't niggas, deny it. Niggas don't want to, like, admit it. Niggas Trump don't was admit doing it. Like, shit. Didn't he? Wasn't he, like, one of the only, oh, wasn't he, like, one of the only presidents to, uh, like, make a law for black people? Yeah, and it's so crazy how when as soon as Biden got in that that Asian hate law came in. But yeah, Asian if you not you. black, you not black yeah, if you, you don't vote for me. Biden, bitch. I didn't vote for they you. They did that fuck shit with Cash App. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, I can't, for I, real. I don't even use Cash App no more. I, ain't gonna lie. I, I got rid of it. Six. I got rid man. of that shit. I'm like, I'm good, bro. And then you do all this shit. That's why I'm like, when people say that shit, I just be like, do, do y'all really care about politics or y'all just? Y'all just, you know what I'm saying? Because like Joe Biden is like on record being a clown forever. I'm not saying Donald Trump is it, but in the words of Jada Kiss, Trump gave him 1,200. Obama gave him cell phones. Thanks. <laughs> that 1,200 helped me out, nigga. It did. <laughs> and cell phones ain't do shit. Bought me some diapers. <laughs> oh that my shit, god. That shit invested in some uh, podcast equipment. You know what when I mean? We gonna have a kid, bro. Huh? We gonna have a kid, man. That's a good question, bro. Honestly, I'm probably gonna adopt the Asian kid and make him hoop. 
I'm gonna name him Jacoby. <laughs> 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 I think that's when I'm gonna have a kid, bro. What the fuck, so, Jacoby? Yeah, I'm gonna name him Jacoby. Like, just, like it'll be like He's Jordan. A nigga. It'll be like, what you call a nigga? It'll be like not even Jordan. It'll be like Ja and Kobe, Jacoby. You know what I mean? Ja Moran, Kobe. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna uh, by then we gonna we, we we gonna fly over to his hometown. Sorry. We gonna yes, sorry. We gonna fly to his hometown. <laughs> we gonna get him some implants. You know, by then you know you know they got that over in Japan. They can make you taller. Yeah. So we gonna do that, man. <laughs> Damn man. damn, man. So, uh, yeah, damn. Yeah, we pretty much talked a lot of shit today, man. So, uh. Shout out my daughter. It's her birthday. Oh, uh, work today? Not today. On the 22nd. Okay, I was gonna say, what you about to do? I'm go crazy. How's being a father, man? You like that shit? I love it. It's my best friend. See? Y'all hear that? Can't get enough. I know a lot of niggas that be watching this show, they won't be taking care of their kids, nigga. Get off Facebook and take care of your fucking family. Facts. I'm a single father. Single father. No help. He's single. You hear that, ladies? He's single and he DJs. Hold on. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm a single father. <laughs> oh, I ain't saying oh. come hit me up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm a single father. It's some, it's, it's some cougars that uh, be watching this shit. There's some cook, bro. When Sa- I tell you, shout out to S- uh, Sarah Jackson. We love you. <laughs> when I got older, bro, these old ladies at church, <laughs> at my mom's job, they ain't got no filter, dog. I'm at my grandma's funeral. The lady talking to my auntie talking about who is that chocolate boy up there? <laughs> you ain't that you didn't hear it. I'm, I'm trying to talk about my grandma in her casket. Yeah, you talking about who that chocolate boy uh, up there? Like, man, just that's like me. some wedding crasher shit right. when nigga Will Ferrell was on there. Yo, that man, just wild. write your number down and I hit you up later. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. What's uh your top five rap rap albums of the last year? I know 2022 we we really didn't get. I mean it's still early. Yeah. So like. Um, of the last year, I think Gunna's, Gunna's project Gunna. is nice. Um, I hate that nigga took my... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Gunna. Um, who else put out? Um, there's a lot of... Um, Drake. Uh, CLB. Drake. You know what's so crazy? And I'm going I'm to I'm stand on... When I, I had posted on Facebook, saying that that shit was trash. It is. I don't think it's trash. But it's I don't think trash. it's Drake, the best Drake we've had. Mm. That's what I was comparing it to. You know what I thought it was? I, I thought it was a uh, nothing was the same too. Nothing was the same was a hit. That's though, one of his best like part two. Okay, okay. Like that was like that was like his best. Yeah. Like yeah, nothing was the same. Probably was his best. Uh, take uh, care, take, take care, care, take care, care. Take care is his best. I ain't gonna lie. I know after, every after song care, on that bitch. Like not even like as a Drake fan. Like take care was just a whole play. It's a whole playthrough, bro. Yeah, it's it a is. whole playthrough. No bullshit. Now nothing was the same. A lot of niggas say that shit's their favorite. I'm like I'm not mad at that, but. For me, take, take care. Take care. But I think it's between those two, though. It's definitely between them two. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're reading this, it's too late. Oh yeah. That yeah, was that shit was cool up until it has. It has. Like marketing. Of yeah, it, bro. It has. It, has, it has, had everybody on the wave. With it has that. Azure Tech next to it, bro. We understand. <laughs> we understand. That's why I like. Cause you're right. When I first heard that shit, on my soul, I was like, "Damn, this is the best like Drake shit I ever heard." Mm-hmm. Like rapping. He was yeah. rapping on that bitch. Like, really, I've never heard him rap that much ever since. Right. Then we found out about, you know, Grocery Boy, Quentin Miller. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, you but said. Yeah, so, I certif- what did I say? Gunner's Project. Gunner's uh, certif- Certified Level Certified boy. Fuck Boy. Uh, <laughs> I listened to R&B, too. Jasmine Sullivan's album was Ooh. hard. Yeah, me hey, too. I yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'll be there, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm really rocking in there. <laughs> no, seriously, I need, like, two. All right. Who you taking? <laughs> <laughs> Myself, nigga. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, Jasmine Sullivan shit was hard. Summer Worker shit was hard. Um, What's up her hair? Yeah, she tripped. She crazy. Like um, <laughs> Money Bag Yo <laughs> shit. Gangsta Pain. That shit was hard. Who's Gangsta Pain? Money Bag Yo. Oh, okay, okay. I ain't listening to that shit. Yeah. It, it actually. It's, it's actually hard. good. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. I don't. I don't. I don't like him either. I don't like. I don't like how how, how he out here moving. Like <laughs> you ain't moving. <laughs> he can yeah. make some music. I don't give a fuck yeah. what he doing. His oh, music hit. I used to say that to R. Kelly. Oh my now I can only <laughs> listen to R. Kelly like indoors with the windows locked. Okay, it's that different. Windows but. locked. I gotta play that shit at a certain pace. Some niggas walk through the door. I gotta change the channel. But you know, one thing I haven't listened to though yet is still, it's still Donda. I haven't listened what? to Donda. Damn, why not? I did. You about to make part two, nigga? I know. I I I should have gave it a listen. I think but part two might be better. I even heard the first. Okay. If he, I think it was better to wait. 
because he changed it right when he dropped it. He did he change it. Changed it so many fucking times. <laughs> he definitely yeah. did. He did. Took nigga shit off. Took nigga shit off. Changed verses. You not lying. So I had to download like eight different songs. Like nigga, well, I thought I downloaded <laughs> this shit. Gangsta's it's a new one. <laughs> so I said Gangsta's Fame, which is Money Bag Yo. Money Bag Yo, you said DS4 uh, Gunna. You have Gunna. Jasmine Sullivan. CLB. CLB. Yeah. I said some more. Summer Walker, yeah. I ain't listening to none of them shits besides uh I'm trying to think who else dropped. Last year. Did Pooh Shikes he drop last year? Yeah. Yeah. Did he? Oh yeah, he did drop last year, yep. Yeah. That nigga, what's up with him? His career about to be done. Yeah, if he get that time, yeah, he's gonna be cooked. Did Kodak didn't drop no album, did he? Low key, he dropped it. I don't know. He just dropped Super Gremlin, right? That was not just a nah, record, it was like an EP. Nah, he, he had dropped an album technically, he, but he dropped a project. I don't why know. Why he was in jail? No, no. I mean, right when he got out. Oh, ESTG. I can't. I forgot him. Bigger than life or death. Gotta have him on there. That's the nigga that's good at sports. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> damn, bro, it's a lot. Cause Young Thug dropped. Yeah, Mill dropped. Crazy. But Young, I think I Young know. Thug's Big like thirty. Uh, you, you saying it was ass? No, it wasn't ass at all. No, it wasn't ass. It I, just was, I just wasn't feeling it. No, I'm just fucking no, with you. No, it, it just it didn't shady promotion. Like, yeah, I think so. I think it was like a marketing thing because it didn't do how it his last project did. Who? The one with the dress, Young Thugs. Oh. Like punk, pink wise. or punk? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, all right, man. It closed it. What's your biggest perk of being a DJ? <laughs> and, and, my bad. Um, you said get to the clubs free. Yeah, but uh, it's a lot of these rappers dream here, Ari. You know, yeah, I mean, DJ, you, you, DJ A one. You know that though. I don't. This nigga just hit my. <laughs> I know. I know. That's why I said that. I mean, I'm at it up. Uh, but um, I would say uh, I don't know. I hear a lot of music. Right. I think that's the biggest part. I like music. Right. I, I think music is my calling. But um, yeah, hearing a lot of music, new music, you get a lot of shit. You know that might not ever get released. Right. That's hidden. So that's y'all niggas do be so like is that like Illuminati like DJ society? They just nah. send y'all records like are like cause I be hearing a lot of DJs even like on in like this the, the super industry and all that weird shit and they like yo so and so like I still wanna hear this fucking old boy record with Jay Z on it. Cameron said he like, only a couple DJs got it. Cameron said he took him off. Yeah, a lot of uh say Jay Z was coming at him. That's why I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck the whole say? A lot like, of but nigga. a lot of DJs, some DJs, if they're really in the music, if they're involved in that studio session, mm-hmm. or if they're a good DJ, there's artists like who gonna send their music right when they done with that song. Oh, okay. You feel me? So it's like that. It's kind of like a basically like an early release on the Jays type okay. shit. It's like a little relationship, thing, yeah. Depending yeah. on who you is, right? Like, right. yo, I got this nigga's verse. It's hot, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that type of shit. That's real. But um, yeah, that's 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 the big. I, I like I like I like listening to new music. That's good. Is there some local artists that you think are gonna blow up this year? Skeet, Skeet, yeah. no let up Skeet for yeah, sure. I, I, I definitely think he is. I, I, that's why I was talking to Q about it when I had Q on here. No I bullshit. Like, I watched the nigga. Skeet is different. Yeah, there's the uh, there's a lot of nigga. They do it. They do. They yeah. do. And the crazy thing is, it's like I feel like when you got a a following like he does, who really because Skeet can really rap. No, he can rap, bro. Skeet can really I rap. The joint when it, the, what was the last joint? The little freestyle he did when it was in like the hotel room at the table. Yeah, I was it's ESTG like, flow. This niggas actually rap. talking that oh, that's shit. That, oh, that's how I do rap. ESTG I really I don't listen to the, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta listen to ESTG. That nigga's different. Man. That nigga's different. Y'all send me certain tracks, bro. You know me, I'm real selective with what the shit I listen to. Right. I like to put in my and ears, it's so bro. crazy. I be like, I can't listen to this shit. Me and Polo nigga. was talking about Ski the other day, and Polo kind of compared him to ESTG. He was like, we knew ESTG was cold. His game is a team that's spreading the word. Right, it's a team, nigga. That's why I be trying to tell niggas like it's mad people that like. That want to help with a lot of things, right. you know what I'm saying? And like we all need help, but right? Everybody got to play their role. Exactly. We don't need everybody trying to play the same role. Mm-hmm. A lot of and people want to be that person. Niggas want to try to do, and that's like stop doing that. Sometimes play your fucking part and be piccolo. Nigga. Just like you have the writers in the industry who write for Drake, <laughs> they know if they put this song out, it's not gonna be shit. But if Drake put it out. You feel me? Everybody play one for a collective group. Now I'm not saying mm-hmm. nobody mm-hmm. else got <laughs> nobody else got you know a team. But nobody, I can honestly say, nobody is putting shit out, quality shit out like Skeet is Not right like now. like them, bro. He got a whole, like you said, it's a whole team. Yeah. And them niggas believe in him. That's why it's like, even when I told Q, I'm like, that shit is beautiful to it see. Is. Like, it I, is, bro. I was like, I love, I love seeing that shit. I'm like, even like, I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I'm a, I'm comparing this shit to the to people I've had on the podcast, right? I've gotten, like, 
like certain like model views, like a lot of views on certain ones. Mm -hmm. I remember the one I did with Q, that was the most I've ever were in St. Paul when I'm talking about niggas shared an Instagram clip. Like eight, like probably like a good 20, 25 people shared that shit because mm -hmm. they saw their mans on there. Right, right. I've had other people on here and that's why I'd be like, yo, it takes a village. These it niggas do. ain't supporting you. It like, do. and like, I got to the point where it's like, I don't even get mad at my friends no more. Right. I just be like, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But just, you know, I'm going to remember that shit. Right. And I think a lot of people uh, where they fuck up is because they think that I know some people who think because they don't have the support, they can't do it. And that's corny. And they, they stop their work ethic. And that's corny, you literally. Me, yo. It's real corny. That's real corny it's like, right when there. I, when I was doing this, don't nobody, nobody knew how to DJ. Mm -hmm. I didn't even fuck what nobody thought. Exactly. Who's this bitch you finna find out? Niggas waiting for a reaction for exactly. other niggas. No, Easy. fucking work and right. get the reaction. I don't right. give a fuck. If I was sitting there crying about niggas, like, you know, like, it's so many niggas that do corny shit behind it. Oh, I'm gonna come on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then they lie. You see these niggas right. are like another joint where it's like, I don't take it personal because personally, I don't really know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like say, like you do some shit like that. I'd be like, oh, nigga, for real? <laughs> right, 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 right. It's right. different. It's different. It's, different. Like, it's different. different. But it's like a lot of these niggas, they do that, and they think they think just because they do corny shit, and you see it, and you, I support the corny shit they'll do, and they probably they mind be thinking like, oh man, you caught me. You know what right. I'm saying? It'd be the same it's shit. Like, I was like, no, nigga, I don't care, nigga. I'm gonna, you know, right. it is what it is. But it's like, stop acting weird as men. You know oh, what God, I'm saying? God, I'm never gonna first force yeah, no one to bro. work with me. That's what I'm trying to tell niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, just tell a nigga no, so you don't want to work with him, bro. Exactly. If you don't, don't want to work, be like, that's awesome. fine. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, dude, we can work set it up. You feel and then me? I hit you up again, and it's the same thing. And the third time you give me attitude, are you acting like you know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I'd be like, all right, I'm just morally, I'm different. Right. All you got to say yeah, is if you don't no. want to work, just say no. I'm not going to get mad at you. I'm not going to diss you for saying no. You know how corny that shit looks? Right. That's that like the hell. nigga that's trying to get the broad. She don't go. It is, bitch, you ugly. You all this. Right. I always hate. Right. I that's hate, lame as fuck. I hate niggas that do lame that. Fuck, like, I'm the type of nigga. She still diss me. not going. I'm still going to give her a compliment. All right, right. You have a good day with your fine ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bitch. Keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah. On God. Hey, that was, hey, that, hey, that, hey, that's one of my favorite Ice Cube lines. When that nigga was, uh, what'd he say? Because Wayne recycled that shit. On sure thing, I, when, it was on sure thing when Wayne recycled it. When he was like, uh, "We all yell fuck you, bitch," and kept going. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's Ice yeah, Cube's yeah, yeah. bar, bro, from like the nineties. Oh damn. Well, he, yeah, like that's what's so cr Ice Cube's one of one of them niggas for sure. He, he literally bit that. I was like, what? Yeah. Like Ice Cube, it was some, it was some shit. But nah, man, this been a, a motherfucking dope episode, man. We was talking shit, man. It's actually one of you know the first Phil Friend episode. I'm right. Start, I'm gonna start having more niggas I know on actually that's doing shit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, seriously, bro. Oh, it's better content, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it you is. Know, this shit's been good, man. So you talk For your sure. shit and tell them where they can find you at and all that shit. Follow me on uh, IG at underscore DJ A1, the number one underscore. So DJ A1 underscore on Twitter, underscore DJ A1 underscore on Facebook, DJ A1. Look, with six <laughs> O's, because somebody already had the number, so I, I have to change it, you know? But it's like six O's. But I anyway, that. I caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. You feel me? Follow my my hookah page, Jungle Hookah Lounge. I'm definitely LLC. a supporter of that. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I don't even like fuck with hookah, but you know what I mean. You if you're doing it, I'm, I'm a rock with it. I'm I a do supporter. hookah. I do Airbnb. I do a lot. Uh, we gonna talk, fuck bro. We you. gonna talk for sure, for sure. For sure. All right, man. It's your boy Wayne, man. It's been another episode, man. Shout out to uh, Lean Minnesota. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rico's Ice Cream Parlor, man. Hey, you know what, I'm what saying? up, cuz? Shout out to uh, everybody working and doing their thing, man. You know, it's 2022, man. We're going to keep on coming, man. Age day, man. We out.